I love you all. I really do. Some people are, uh, when some people, when people are confused, sometimes they, they head to the bottle or the pill. All right? I head to the park to figure things out, you know? See the squirrels? Say hello to the squirrels. See them, right? They're doing their business, right? Gathering up their nuts for the winter to come down and eat a little bit. So I want to just uh, a brief video about yesterday's um, caravan uh, video. <laughs> you guys are laying into me, man. I love it. Thank you. Thank you for challenging me for challenging you. So I pinned the comment uh, on the top of that video that I think sums up what I was trying to say. And that's why the comments are so important because someone said it um, simply what I was trying to say. And it's this, it's that they use the, the analogy of cookies. I'm going to change it to donuts. <laughs> Make it original. So there's 20 donuts on the table. Right? And there's a banker, there's a worker, and there's an immigrant. Right? And the banker takes 19 donuts for himself. And then he tells the worker, you better get that last donut because the immigrant's going to take it from you. That's what I was trying to say. That we live in a, in, a, in a supremely wealthy nation. Probably more wealth accrued than any other nation in the history of the world. But we don't see it. Right? The people don't see it. Some people see it. A very few people see it. And that's the point I was trying to make is that... Is that the wealth is is at the top right and there's there's a, there's people that are are working against you to keep it that way right people made the argument oh well there's there's um the caravan is well financed yeah right of course it is that 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 supports the idea that that um, that it's the money doing this to you. This is a shit show. This is a throw, right? Oh, it's, people are taking all our jobs and and they oh they they're killing us. The immigrants. They I'll 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 score pots. I'll score pots. What it reveals. This, this commentary, what it reveals is, is what I've been saying all along. That people are too proud in this country to admit that they're struggling. And now they're starting to. Because, see that, pride, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm trying to get at. Is that, is that people are too proud to say that they're struggling. And then, and then it's only revealed when... Some billionaire puts on a shit show at the border, right? And proves, proves to you that you're not doing as well as they tell you you're doing, right? The Republican Party, I guess it is, they want to tell you, oh, you're doing fantastic. The economy's never been so good. Yeah, well, why are you complaining now, right? Why, 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 does, why do you feel jeopardized by, by a shit show at the border, Right? It is an economic problem. And again, if it's if you're if you're about race and and you know certain, you know, ethnic cleansing or whiteness or blackness, I can't help you because I don't feel those feelings. I I cannot I, I cannot get angry with you over that. 
right? But what I can, what what I what I will say is that I stand. Oh, I, I have to make a correction as well. If if um, if someone gets asylum, they are in fact entitled to food stamps. I, f I found that out. So their their comp <laughs> compensation, their uh, package is is slightly higher than I anticipated. So, but that doesn't change the fact. It doesn't change the fact that 15 banks are doing this to you. And rather than fight some poor schmuck, you know, who bought into the idea of making his way up from Honduras to storm the beaches of Tijuana, <laughs> you know, San Diego, for the hope of a better life and maybe five grand in the bank or whatever whatever they're giving him to do it. Right? Who's giving it to him? Follow the money. Right? That's the point. Direct that anger. Direct that anger at the CEOs of the of these banks that raped your country in two thousand eight. And continue to do it and continue to play into the ignorance. Of the of the masses. Trust me, I'm your friend. I'm I'm trying to figure this out, just like, just like everybody else. And I'm no perfect soul. I'm I, I again. I I see myself as a mirror, right? That's all I am. I'm just a reflection. I'm not I'm not a perfect individual. And you know what's funny too? People call me a shill of some sort. What does that mean? I mean I I've taken enormous. Um, sacrifice to do this and if you think this is an easy e easy gig <laughs> try it right I leave all the comments up I want to hear from you guys right you could say whatever you want call me motherfucker call me cocksucker call me cunt jack off fucking buck tooth cunt motherfucker I don't care that doesn't matter because I give you a place to vent Right? I've given you a pl No one's going to listen to your bullshit. No one cares about you. That's the point. Don't you get it, man? No one gives a shit about you. Right? They don't give, give a shit about you. They fucking... You go on these sites, they're all truth... Crowdsource the truth and truth leaks and true pundit. A whole bunch of fucking liars. Q... They're lying to you, man. These fucking guys are all bullshit artists. That's what I'm trying to tell you, man. Right? The truth. You have the truth. And the truth is in what you revealed in this caravan story. That people are struggling in this country and they're pissed the fuck off. Right? But blame the right people. Go after the banks. Go after the oligarchy. Don't, don't, don't go after each other. Or some guy on a fucking guy walking around the park with a joystick saying, you know, trying to tell you the truth, trying to trying to shine light on it. Right? Right? So I'm gonna uh Marcus Conti reporting. I'm gonna dive into uh I have breaking news in the Jen Moore murder mystery. I know that story isn't for everyone, but it ties in. It it matters to me because because we, we are we have to get to the we have to get back to a place in this country where people can find out the truth of what's really going on. Right? And you got a bunch of charlatans charlatans and and, and and fucking money grabbers interfering in that. And that's my job. I started as a whistleblower, I still am a whistleblower, but in a in a in a covert way, sort of. So I'll, I'll be jumping into that in, in uh, later today. There's very interesting information from a uh, from a from a uh, I'll call her, her her a doctor, an autopsy doctor who has been uh, looking deeply into this. So I'll get back to that uh, soon. Marcus Conti reporting.